Hello everyone, this is Brad again from Malasoft. Uh, we're going to go through our Romanian uh, solution today. Um, I know that we went through Serbia last time, but we got a lot of attention for our Romanian solution. So I just want to run through this with everyone so everyone's aware of what Malasoft can do. Um, let's start. On today's agenda, we'll just go through who we are, how does e-invoice work, the Romanian e-invoicing system, what the Malasoft uh, SAP add-on uh, can do for e-invoicing in Romania, what our sort of project implementation plan would be, and also a, a demo representation as well. So, obviously, we went through this before, but Malasoft, we, we were established in, in 2013, uh, in the IT industry, uh, we're headquartered in Frankfurt, Germany, and we have offices in Istanbul, Ankara, and Warsaw. Uh, we provide affordable, innovative solutions for digital transformations in different countries. We also work uh, in SAP and non-SAP solutions. Uh, we're constantly expanding our scope of services, um, and yeah, we're active in, in most sort of IT areas. So here is our SAP uh, products and services. As you can see on the screen, this is what we focus on. So e-invoice, e-archive, e-dispatch, uh, e-leisure, and here are also our SAP services on the right-hand side. So the next slide, you, we also sort of have our own specific solutions. So on the SAP GDPR side, we have these solutions on the left. We also do integration solutions, uh, SAP financial solutions, SAP smart banking uh, applications, uh, fintech solutions, uh, commercial solutions, and also software development solutions. So in this part, we're going to give information regarding e-invoicing and the current progress in Romania. On, on this slide, we're going to discuss e-invoice here. So, an invoice is considered as a formal document issued by a seller slash supplier to a buyer requesting payments due to the sales of goods or provision of services. Uh, the invoice is an essential document for trading parties, supply chain, accounting and tax authorities. So an electronic in invoice is an electronic document, e-invoice, which like the paper-based invoice represents official request for payment due to the sales of goods or provision of services. And how does e-invoice work? So this is uh, constant questions that we get here at Malasoft. So this little graph is go going to show you how it works. So relevant invoice data should be extracted from your ERP system, whether that's MM, FD, and FI modules. The electronic document is created by the supplier before the submission to the tax authorities. So this is predefined format from the, the tax authority. It could be XML, JSON, uh, etc. Um, then the tax authorities assesses the e-document according to the standards. So if it's validated, it transmits them directly to the recipient in the electronic format. If it's not validated, it will be sent back to the supplier. The, the general topics uh, are finished and, and now we'll discuss the Romanian invoicing system and we'll introduce this now. So the project background, uh, specifically for Romania, uh, so the Government Ordinance 120 to 2021 establishes the basis of the, the framework for the national e-invoicing system in Romania. And then the Government Ordinance 130 to 2021 clarify the details about the new e-invoicing regime, including the scopes and deadlines for the companies to meet. Uh, the remaining e-factura is the IT protocol for reporting, storage and downloading of, I of invoices through the service of the Romanian uh, tax authority. So yeah, this can be uh, government uh, or B2B, it's, it varies depending on what your business does. 
So the background, so the Romanian e-factura e system is accessible through a, a virtual private space SPV web page and a shared API application programming interface. So to use the system, commercial entities must be registered under their own name or designated legal uh, representat representative. Um, electronic invoices should be issued through the national invoicing system, uh, Romanian uh, e-factura in UBL 2.1 format. Um, and then invoices must be generated in a predefined uh, XML format in accordance to the Romanian uh, standard. Here we have the, the timeline. So from the 1st of April uh, of 2022, so this year, uh, travel agencies uh, or ec economic operators that carry out tourism activities uh, these are specifically for invoices issued based on holiday vouchers. Um, from the 1st of July, companies that issue invoices towards public entities of the Romanian state, so B2G, uh, business government. Uh, also from the 1st of July, companies that supply products of high fiscal risk, for instance, vegetables, fruit, uh, alcoholic drinks, water, beverages, constructions, mineral products, clothing, footwear, uh, in business to business. So these, these companies should already uh, be in the process or have done uh, their e-invoice projects. So from 2023, all companies and all products and services should be fitting within the Romanian e-factura guidelines. So here we have sort of a general architecture of the system. Um, at this one side, we have the invoice issuer and at the other side, we have the recipient. Both of them are connected to the government portal using API services. And here, uh, this is our Malasoft Safti uh, solution. Um, so our solution helps you convert your accounting data into XML file. Thanks to the SAP add-on solution, all steps are completed in the customer system before the files are uploaded to the DUK integrator for file verification. And the SAF T report is ready to submit to the tax authorities. And you can see the step-by-step -step, uh, process here. We are now on the slide for uh, our own Malasoft invoicing solution. So we'll introduce our solution and how it works. Um, the standard sort of Malasoft solution works as a SAP uh, add-on and it has four main components, inbound cockpit, outbound cockpit, customizations and periodic programs. So the Malasoft solution simplifies the process. So the SAP add-on automatically e extracts relevant invoice data. The data is then formatted in XML and then the users can monitor the process using the invoice cockpit. Um, also via the Malasoft uh, add-on, API files are then transmitted to the tax authority for validation. If successfully validated, the invoice is forwarded to the partner organization. And on this slide, we're going to show the Malasoft add-on uh, for incoming e-invoices. E so this time on the incoming side, the vendor sends the documents to the government portal and by using periodic jobs, the incoming XML files are transferred to the, to the Malasoft cockpit. Um, once this has been controlled, it is either accepted or rejected. And then the invoice status is updated accordingly in the cockpit. So here we have the, the key features um, of the Malasoft solution. So the Malsoft solution is a SAP add-on and works within the SAP system under the control of your company. 
so you can you can you have access to everything also the separate cockpits for incoming and outgoing invoices it also displays the invoice in PDF, XML, HTML, and other formats that are supported by SAP. It's an easy invoice design by the user using XL, S, XSLT tool. And then the, the good thing is, is a lot of customers also have uh, different systems. So we've worked with customers that we're integrating with uh, Vim or a DMS system. So the Malsoft add-on can integrate with other third-party systems. Um, this gives then uh, the ability to authorize the transactions, whether that's someone specific in the company. Um, and also it's the ability to direct, yeah, direct invoices to the responsible personnel. So yeah, you can, make someone uh, responsible within the company uh, for specific uh, clients let's say and they're responsible for them uh, e-invoices basically to make sure that all the all the data is correct and it's and it's correct also it, it has the ability to make improvements with body outputs where you're able to log all operations or so any activity who's handling the e-invoice it all can be uh, monitored and then it's also adaptable to different systems with modern and flexible architecture so yeah the solution is, is quite easy to to connect to people's sap systems and, and it's quite easy to uh, download it and, and upload it to, to your SAP system and it, it should work quite easily. Here is the, um, the general system architecture for outgoing invoices. Uh, so on the left here, uh, the invoice is created in the ERP system and is mapped and the XML file is created by the Malsoft add-on. The created invoice can be managed using the outbound cockpit. Um, the documents can be viewed in different formats in HTML, XML, and the invoices can be sent to the government portal automatically or manually. It just depends on your sort of request. And then as the XML file is validated, then it is sent to the customer and then the status of the document can be monitored for all stages within the Malsoft cockpit. And here is the general architecture for incoming uh, invoices. So the invoice is created in the ERP system of the vendor and is sent to the government portal. The created invoice can be managed using the inbound cockpit and the documents can be viewed in, in different formats, including HTML and XML. The invoices can be accepted or rejected over the cockpit as the XML file is, is accepted. And then it is sent to the ERP system for accounting processes, so your SAP system. The status of the document can be monitored throughout the, throughout the entire process in the Malasoft cockpit. And here, as, as shown, this is what our implementation plan would be if you were to go with us. So we'd analyze uh, your system. We'll determine the customizations, what are, what's unique to you, and we can match that. Uh, we'll also import the, the, the package, so our Malsoft uh, package. We can import that to your SAP system. We do the system tests and then we do the, the trainings at the end and this just depends on the agreement that we have with you. And here we're just going to go through what the, the SAP system looks like, the, the cockpit. So here, uh, the e-invoice add-on has three sections, namely application programs, and then it has periodic programs, and then it has customizations. The inbound and outbound cockpits are in application program sections and periodic jobs are used for updating incoming invoices 
and a list of registered customers in the government side. Customization section at the bottom here. Uh, this includes all company related customization, including the invoices, company, users, and tax related issues. Here we have the, the outbound invoice cockpit. Um, so here you can see all outbound, outbound uh, invoices that are going to be sent to the government side. The invoices can be viewed in different formats such as HTML, XML. Also all necessary information can be listed on the table according to the customer requests. So you can change the little bars at the top specifically for your needs. Um, also, all the invoices can be sent to the government site from the outbound cockpit. You can view the status of the document um, and then it can even be cancelled and the outbound cockpit and then this will pull the, the invoice from the government side. And here we have the inbound invoice cockpit. So the inbound cockpit lists all of the incoming invoices and then obviously the per periodic jobs checks the government portal uh, for, for new invoices that have arrived. This can be like every half an hour, uh, every hour. And then also you can manually update it so it pulls any, anything from just one click. Um, and they are just transferred into this section of the cockpit. Um, the invoices can be controlled or viewed using XML and HTML and can be approved or rejected within this cockpit. The invoice status can be monitored as well during the whole process. And yeah, that, that's it for, for, the, for the presentation and the general sort of system architecture of, of the Malisoft add-on. Um, thanks for listening. Here's my email contacts if you want to reach out to me, if you've got any questions. We operate throughout Europe, Central Asia, uh, we, do, we have some solutions in Africa as well. So yeah, it would be great. Here's my email um, and yeah, uh, you'll see me again for, for another demo. Thanks, have a nice day.